Assalam o Alaikum, Dr. Maya here. I hope all of you are safe and sound. Today in this video, I will tell you how to calculate the ovulation days, the most fertile days, the days in which the chances of conception are maximum. First of all, you should know the average menstrual cycle is of 28 days. The cycle can range anywhere from 21 to 35 days in adults, but it can range up to 45 days in young teens. A cycle is counted from the first day of first period to the first day of the next period. In order to calculate the ovulation days, first of all calculate the length of your cycle and how you will calculate the length of your cycle. Start counting on first day of your cycle. For example, if you have periods on 1st January, mark this date, right? And count up to the first day of your next cycle. For example, your next cycle begins at 28 January. You have to mark this date. So your this cycle is of 28 days. Now we will do another example to calculate the length of cycle. For example, if someone has period started on 1st January. So you will mark this date on your calendar. So make a note on the calendar and count up to the first day of your next cycle and for example the first day of the next cycle is 30 January so the length of the cycle will be of 30 days so from the first day of the previous cycle till the first day of the next cycle will tell you the length of your cycle if your period begins at 1st January so you will mark this date and count up to the first date of your next cycle and for example the next cycle begins at 21st January. So the length of your cycle will be of 21 days. Now if the period begins at 1st January and the next cycle begins at the 4th February. So the length of the cycle will be of 35 days. So in this way you will calculate the length of your cycle. The menstrual cycle can be divided into four phases, the menstruation, the follicular phase, ovulation and the luteal phase. Just remember follicular phase is not a constant phase while the luteal phase is a constant phase. The luteal phase is of about 12 to 14 days. So in order to calculate the ovulation days just first calculate the length of your cycle and minus the luteal phase days which on average are of 14 days. So just minus the 14 days from the length of your cycle. For example the length of your cycle is of 28 days. We will just minus 14 from these 28 days. So 28 minus 14 is equal to 14. This means that maximum chances of ovulation are at 14th January. As the follicular phase is not a constant phase, so we will add plus 2 and we will minus 2 from this figure. So when we minus 2 from the 14, the answer will be 12. And when we add 2 in the 14, the answer will be 16. So from 12th January till the 16th January are the days in which the chances of ovulation are maximum. Or these are the days which are the most fertile days. In these days your chances of conception are maximum. Let's do another example. For example the length of your cycle is of 30 days. What you have to do? Just you have to do minus 14 from these days. So 30 minus 14 is equal to 16. So maximum chances of ovulation are at 16 January. We will add 2 and minus 2 in this figure. So the maximum chances of ovulation ranges from 14 January till the 18 January. These are the days in which you have maximum chances to conceive. So now we will do another example which is very important. For example, if the length of cycle is very short, if it is of 21 days, what you will do? You have to minus 14 from 21 days. The answer will be 7. What it mean? It means that the maximum chances of ovulation at 7th January. In such ladies, the follicular phase is very short. If the period begins at 1st January and if it lasts for 3 to 5 days after the decision of menses or when the menses will stop, soon after that the ovulation will occur. So the ovulation will occur 
At 7 January, we have to add plus 2 and minus 2. So the maximum chances of ovulation ranges from 5th January till 9th January. Here I will mention a very important point that if your cycle remains up to 7 days or up to 8 days, so during your periods, mean if still you are spotting, you can ovulate. So these are the cases in which female don't know that she has ovulated during her menstruation. So if this method seems to be difficult for you to calculate the ovulation days, in short, you must have physical contact with your partner every other day after the cessation of your periods or when the period stops. You must have in contact two to three times a week. In a nutshell, if the average length of your cycle is of 28 days, most probably you will ovulate at 14 of the cycle. To calculate the most fertile days, just add 2 days and minus 2 days. So 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 will be the most fertile days. These are the days in which there are the maximum chances to conceive. In order to get best result, you must have in contact with your partner every other day. I hope this video will be informative for you. If you have any query, you can ask the question in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe my channel and share it for public awareness. Thanks.